In this example, we're told to consider a brick that is 2 inches by 4 inches by 8 inches. So that's the size of the brick, and it has a weight of 12 pounds, and it's resting on the top of a table. Now we're told to imagine the brick standing on one end, so you need to draw a little sketch like this. Draw a rectangle and orient it this way, and then make it look 3D like this. And you can put in some dashed lines to show the hidden lines that we can't see back there. So the brick is standing up on end and we're told that it's 2 inches by 4 inches by 8 inches. So 8 inches is obviously the long side and then 2 inches right here is obviously the shortest side and 4 inches is the, the medium length side. We're told to find the pressure that the brick exerts on the top of the table. Well, our formula is simple. Pressure is force divided by area. So we just need to know what the force is and what the area is and put those two numbers in there and do the division. So first of all, think about the force. The force is easy. That's given in the problem. The force is 12 pounds. So we know the force. The force is 12 pounds that force is going to be spread out over the area where the brick is pressing down onto the table. And that's going to be the area where the brick is in contact with the table. And that's this area right down here that I'm shading in yellow. Okay, that's that bottom face of the brick resting on the table. And you should be able to see that that's 2 inches by 4 inches. And so the area is 2 inches times 4 inches, and that comes out to 8 inches squared or 8 square inches. So if we do the math here, pressure is force over area, that's going to be 12 pounds divided by 8 square inches and 12 divided by 8 comes out to 1.5 and you can see the units we have here, pounds per square inch. So 1.5 and I'll write the units just like that, pounds per square inch. This is a unit for pressure. It's not the only unit for pressure, but it's one way to measure pressure. Just like we have a, a variety of different units for length, like inches and feet and meters and miles, we have different units for pressure too. And this is one that's very common, the pound, pounds per square inch. And it's often abbreviated like this. We could, instead of writing pounds per square inch right there, we could write 1.5 PSI. And PSI is just an abbreviation pounds per square inch. I like to write it like this though, write it as a fraction, because that's actually correct mathematically. The units, remember, work mathematically just like mathematical variables, and the pounds is in fact in the numerator and the square inches in the denominator. And that mathematical fact about the units is obscured a little bit by writing it that way, pounds per square inch. But this is easy and um, very common, and sometimes it's just spoken that way. What's the pressure? The pressure in your tire might be 40 PSI, and it's just very common to say PSI. So just know that PSI is a unit for pressure, and what PSI means is pounds per square inch. Now we're told to imagine the brick resting on its largest side. And, and by that we mean the largest face. So draw the brick like this. We'll make this sketch look a little bit 3D. And you can put the hidden lines in again. So the largest possible area is now in contact with the table. That's this area right down here. So the weight of the brick is still the same. When we do our calculation, pressure is force over area. The force is still going to be the 12 pounds. The brick hasn't changed in size or mass. It's only changed its orientation. Now, if the long side is 8 inches and the short side here, that's my 2 inches, and here, this is 4 inches, you should be able to see that the area resting on the table now is the 8 inches by the 4 inches. It's that 8 inch by 4 inch face down there at the bottom. So we can calculate a new area. The area is going to be 8 inches by 4 inches and that's 32 square inches. 
That's the number we'll use for area. So now let's calculate the pressure. Pressure is force over area. That's 12 pounds over 32 square inches. And you can do the division. It, the fraction reduces to 3 eighths, and you could write it like that, or you could write it as 0.375 pounds per square inch. And again, you could write it as 0.375 PSI, but I prefer the algebraic fraction right there. 